vacation day. Remember food lovers, souffles are fragile little things. They need a calm, quiet environment, or they could collapse. Throw a bagpipe appreciation day party. The likes of wets the Scottish has never seen. What pecker? I heard that! Your lease specifically says no parties. They're noisy, and I'm trying to bake a souffle, which requires quiet! No parties! <laughs> Now, how can I have a party with a pooper like Meanie around? Sometimes, if you want to beat them, you gotta join them. Inspector Decibel, noise police. Noise police? We're affiliated with the CIA, the FBI, the EIEIO, and all other abbreviated government agencies. Hmm, the government. That's right, ma'am. You'll tip the woodpecker. We got a major file on this dirty bird. I'm going to need your help to silence this noisemaker once and for all. Well, I'll do anything it takes, Inspector. I'll watch him like a hawk. Catch him in the act. Then I'll grill him like a steak. I like your spunk. Maybe when this is over, you and me. Oh, it's Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in here and keep Woody on round-the-clock watch. Do not leave your post no matter what you see, ma'am. And then report everything back to me tomorrow. Is that clear? Affirmative, Inspector! <laughs> Party time! <laughs> oh. Surveillance is a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Party Central? Book me your all-termite band and deliver the biggest party tank you got. Party Central. Two, three, four! You don't understand me! You think that I'm a freak! And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a deal! Great! Did you bring the tent? About. That treehouse you're renting me has termites. Rare musical termites. You don't understand me. You think that I'm a freak. And when I stand up for myself, you say that I'm a deal. And tenting the house to get rid of the termites cost me $500. Two, three, four. Maybe you should go away for the day until the termites are taken care of. You don't understand me. You Musical termites? Ha! There's something fishy going on, and I'll get to the bottom of it. That woman's like a bad rash. She just keeps coming back. Whoa! Oh, Inspector, am I glad to see you. We need to get inside that tent. Good thinking. Come on. Follow this stream. Hang a left on Willow. Make a U-turn on third, turn right on first, and come right up inside that woodpecker's elevator shaft. Got it? Good. Go. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> 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 Nothing, you and put the topper to this. Already, I will. Meanie's coming. I say, no more beating around the bush to catch this woodpecker, Ms. Meanie. You mean? Yep, we're going in loud and we're going in proud. But Inspector Decibel. Uh, I don't know how to 
parachute. There's only two rules. Do this. Don't do this. Got it? Good. I'll have you down the chimney before you can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> You'll have to settle for Wiener Wallies. Huh, I'll never eat at Wallies. He's the guy who put the worst in Bratwurst. Yuck. <sighs> I've got it. I'll buy your cart. Okay, but you know it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Hmm. Aha. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, hmm. Plenty of room. Wow, a heated pool. I'll take it. Hmm. What's this going on here? <sighs> I've forgotten more about selling Wieners than that boot hacker will ever know. Oh, eh, I would like to buy a hot dog, please. Coming right up. One for you, and one for me. <laughs> okay, so that's just one customer. And that's one too many. Hey, mister, can I get a dog, please? That's one for you, and two for me. Zwerg, <laughs> that does it. My corner boot, Becker! You know, I get the distinct feeling someone doesn't want me around. Moo -doo 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 -doo. Come back soon. Yeah. Over here! Over here! I've got just one thing to say. That's my corner! <laughs> that should fix that boat packer, you bet. Why for you bury me, wiener boy? Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> Vinivore, you got a Vinivore, Woodpecker! You'll never sell hot dogs on my corner, Wiener Boy! <laughs> 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 
This is the best hot dog mix I've ever tasted. Oh, my aching meatball. You, you woodpecker, look what you've done. I'll get you. <laughs> boys, boys, break it up. With your new hot dog mix and my investment capital, we can make millions. Better be, be signed. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm the boss. Will, will I get my hands on you? You no, come here, you, you. I'm the boss, and I say no work today. Oh, boy. Woo! The tube steak terrorist, you won't ruin my chance to make millions. Ah, go on with you. Give me your best shot. Bet you can't hit me with hot dogs. Oh, yeah? Then take that, and that, and those, and those too, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> If we're gonna be partners, you're gonna have to work faster than that, wiener boy. <laughs> <laughs> Be this building dance? Check. Frogs setting lily pads? Check. Woodpeckers wasting their lives? Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. Ah! Yeah! Your file shows over 3,000 infections in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. Fuck, schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world, there's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With a woodpecker's friend. <gasps> it's... It's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. 
Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? <laughs> yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. <laughs> Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here is a super sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business for this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Want a little fruit of the old pizza tree, Woodrow? I don't recall a pizza tree. What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Woodrow, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... You probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. <laughs> a hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm gonna catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm gonna have to stay here forever. I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody! Woodrow! Here I come! Yay! Mother Nature! Why, Woody, it's... it's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the Academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh -huh. Yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. Institute. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Who will be the new It Girl? 
the brightest star of the new high society season, the new toast of the town. What do you mean I can't be the new it girl? Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to prove it. Except I don't know a thing about high society. Wally Swedish Finishing School. High society, here I come! Wally Swedish Finishing School. This is where I start my social climb. Oh, yoy. You got that certain something, you bet. That's it for sure. <laughs> you really think I've got it? Ooh, such grace, such poise. You could become the toast of high society. That is, with my <clears throat> expert instruction. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> now, you must learn to speak properly if you want to be part of high society. Uh-huh. Please read this sentence. Jumping Jiminy, why your jewels look just lovely. No, 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 no. Now repeat after me. Jumping Jiminy, why your jewels look just lovely. Jumping Jiminy, why your jewels look just lovely. Ah, no, 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 no. Here, put this in your mouth and try it again. <laughs> Are you sure this is how you speak at a high society ball? By Yingo, that's the lingo. Now say the sentence like all my high society friends would say it. Yumpin Yumini, why your yours look just lovely. Yeah, you've almost got it. Just need a lilt in your voice. Yumpin Yumini, why your yours? Look just lovely. Ooh, you're going to beat this year's it girl for sure. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> First impressions are everything. How you enter a room can make or break you in high society. You must walk with purpose, dignity, and grace. Like so. Ooh. People will know you are a refined member of the upper crust. Yeah, sure. All it takes is a little practice on Bolly's tire training system. Go now, walk through the tires. Just remember, Vinny, chin down, arms in, and battle those hips, you bet. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Keep your arms in, keep your arms in. Hmm. Aha! I got just the thing to help you with those crazy arms. <laughs> yeah, now waddle those hips to the beat. Doinky, doinky, arms in, perfect bottle. You're sure to be a star when you walk into any room like that. <laughs> Table manners make or break you in high society. No, 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 my dear. You must do as everyone does at all the biggest parties. Watch closely. Wait a minute. You're trying to tell me this is how they'll eat at the High Society Ball tonight? Oh, yeah, you bet. With this last bit of training complete, you're sure to be the belle of the ball. Now you try. <laughs> now your training is complete. I have never seen a girl who had it like you have it, Vinnie Woodpecker. Congratulations, you are my star. Now go party with all your hearty. Here it goes. 
Jumpin' Yimini, why your yous look just lovely. <gasps> Who will be the new it girl this year? Do you think, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Was it my posture or your something I said? <laughs> what did I do wrong? I did everything Wooly said to. Wow! <laughs> Chin down, arms in, and waddle those hips, you bet. The walrus vaults! And it's the best I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, the walrus high society ball has found its new it girl. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Genie. Look at your paper. You won't believe it. But what will I bring the water back in? Now grant you three wishes. Woo but I reserve the right to change modifier, determine the nature, content, and quality of said wishes. Your sign here, initial here, stamp here, fill in the blank, carry the two, six point seven APR. I'll sign whatever you want. Whoa! And now my first wish is for some water to get me and my baby back on the road. Then I'll think about what else I want, Genie. <laughs> Hmm. This simple glass of water is not good enough for my master's car. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> hmm. What I am thinking is my master's water should be fresh. It should be the freshest water in the world. From a Swedish fjord. <laughs> Maybe we... You're the worst genie I've ever met. I wish I was the genie. I'd show you how it was done. Oh man, I wasted my wish. But hey, this place has everything I could have wished for. And you know, some guys can't pull off the hair and pants look. <laughs> Okie dokie, Woodpecker. Fine. Now I get three wishes, yeah? Sounds like a lot of work to me, buddy. Get lost. Give me that. <laughs> this is the life. Ah. Ah. I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. I robbed the lamp. I want my wishes. It's all about you, isn't it? All right, I'll give you anything your heart desires. <laughs> I wish to be a new me. You mean a makeover? Yeah, I want a new head of hair, a washboard stomach, and, and I want to be reigning king of Sweden. Your wish is my command. A new head of hair! <laughs> a washboard stomach! <laughs> Now, 
You're the reigning king of Sweden. find my magic lamp. Eureka! Ooh. Oh, not again! What? Another fish? Yeah, I fish for... Hmm, a three-story house. Oh, joy! My own three-story house. A dream come true. Yeah. And I'll give you a personal tour. This is the first story, Goldilocks. Check out these comfortable chairs. No, too stuffy. No, too conformy. What do you know? Just right. How about some porridge? No, too hot. Too cold. Hide it. Huh? Hmm. Vata. Having fun yet? Yeah. Liar. Now listen up, Pinocchio. The only thing for little wooden boys to worry about in the real world is woodpeckers. And here's your third story. Ugh, not by the hair on your chimmy chin chin. Oh no. Ah, now back to some relax. Hey, where'd my mansion in a lamp go? Oh, Woodpecker. Hey, give me that! I believe it's time for my third wish. And I wish to be the Yeenie again. Now I get a wish, see? And I wish I was the Yeenie again. No, I want to be the Yeenie. No, I'm the Genie. No, I'm the Yeenie. No, me! Me, 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 Hmm, well, what do you know? A new pool hall in the neighborhood. I haven't played in ages. Oh, oh, Twiggy, quick, get busy. We got us a new customer to con. Whoa! Hello, chum. Take a free shot, why don't you? It's on the house. Ooh, I think that's gonna be a great shot. Wow! I'm better than I remember. Say, you aren't by any chance here for the big contest today, I is. What contest? Well, whomsoever beats the champion, uh, that'd be me, wins a free lifetime pass to Buzz Buzzard's Pool Emporium. Free is my favorite thing. What's the catch? No catch, sport. Just a simple one-time entry fee of uh, 25, uh, 60, 75, uh, 9. Yeah, 79 dollars, and you're good to go. Hey, that's all the dough I got. But the good news is, if you, I mean, when you win, you get the entry fee back with your lifetime of free pool. 
The game is, first one to knock in a hundred balls wins. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> huh? Hey, that ball shouldn't have done that. Oh, my turn. Look, Haley's Comet. Ball. What? I sunk them all. Your turn again. <laughs> See, isn't this fun? No! There's something going on in here. Let me go. There's something in there, I tell ya. <laughs> oh, you're seeing things. <laughs> Shot again. Oh, this is the last time I ever get involved with it. Hold <laughs> 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 ah! no! the phone. That's no pitcher. And this whole joint is rigged for cheating. Give me my money back. That's uh, the security staff. <laughs> and I don't cheat, Woodpecker, besides in which I told you. You gotta win to get your dough back. Oh, here, yeah, boss, your favorite cue stick. I cleaned it and washed it and tuned it up a lot. Bye. The more difficult the shots, the better I like it. To prove I ain't cheating, I'm gonna call my shots before I shoot. All the balls in the corner pocket, banking them off the lamp. <laughs> Another whole bunch of points for me. <laughs> I gotta fix this cheater's wagon. And I know just how to do it. Whoa! Oops, sorry. Off the jukebox. Over the mouse, out the door, and into the mailbox. That was so not regulation, boss. And more to the point, that woodpecker stole my cue stick. <laughs> off the cab, to the stop sign, off the manhole cover, and into the flower pot. Gosh, boss, you couldn't make that shot even with your trick cue stick. <laughs> then go make me make it, Tweaky. Two flights of stairs? Yeah! Into the sink! I gotta get a new job. Oh, this game's got my name written all over it, Woodpecker! Is this jail cell? Jail? <laughs> Officer, this guy runs a crooked pool hall. Thanks, we've been trying to catch this buzz buzzard red-handed for a long time. You got a nice well, reward yeah, coming. I tell you, that woodpecker tricked me. He stole my pool cue. How's a guy supposed to win a game without a pool cue, I asked you. Is that an inequity or not? Pool I think I'll go celebrate and play some more golf, highlight, Chinese checkers, anything but pool. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Nature. 
teacher. I have an excuse. No excuses, Woody. You're way behind in your pecking. I'll be back later to check up on you. Now get pecking, pecking, pecking. Oh, no. I'm 5,000 pickles behind. She'll demote me to a chigger this time for sure. Unless... This here's the Uber Termite, genetically created in my lab for, apparently, for efficiency and ferocity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I call him Lester. What are you looking at, you red-coated pig farmer? Oh, boy. I'll take him. All right, Lester. Go on out there and put some holes in those trees before Mother Nature gets here. Psh, holes? Holes are for golfers and lose the woodpecking. <laughs> you had better start cooperating, mister. Or else. in the trees, not the whole tree gone. Oh, what are you, my father? If he keeps this up, I won't have a forest for Mother Nature to inspect. Uh-uh-uh. Here you go. This will help you make little teeny pecking holes, like a woodpecker. Now, the only sound I want to hear is this. Yes, sir. That little guy is gonna make my life so easy. I said, little teeny pecks, like a woodpecker. Learn from the master. First, pick out a tasty spot. Next, aim. Then do what woodpeckers do a best. Junior's got a bad attitude. I can see I'm going to have to keep you on a short leash. A little peck, then move on. Now a peck of that tree. And take a peck of that one. If a fight might a termite bite, if a termite could not bite. Paint is just the ticket. I'll trick that termite out of here. Then I'll paint the forest back before Mother Nature even gets here. Nice job, Picasso, but the uh, where's your house? My what? Huh? What? Hmm. Why it's right over here. Thanks, big guy.
termite you sold me is a... a monster! Now I need something that'll grow trees. Bam! These vigor growth seeds should do the trick. Okay, that does it. Lester? Dad? Lester, what are you doing to that nice woodpecker's trees? Uh, he said that I did the holes, the trees with the doctor and the thing. Get home! Now! <laughs> 6,607, 6,608. Well, it looks like that little woodpecker finally did some work. But you, Mr. Termite, why haven't you met your quota? I... No excuses. Start munching that bark or I'll demote you to a chitter. Now! But I'm... Let's move it, move it, move it. I mean it, you loafer. Please, listen! Get busy! Wait, I'm not who you think! Let me explain! Prepare to measure race car speed! Ignition! from my Swedish petunias to bloom. <laughs> oh, yoinky doinky. My bloomers. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wally. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Ooh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> this super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Mm. Those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Wally Voris knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> Oh, woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally. Now, let's just see how fast the competition. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Ugh, no wheel anywhere. Yeah. Looks like we've got competition, Nuthead. <laughs> you call that competition? Better keep our race car secret secret, just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bet. <laughs> I better get a closer look at what's in that can. Swamp gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? It's too yummy to be swamp gas. <laughs> Oh, it's Wally's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, mm. yummy. Mm. Mm. It's 
too dark. I'll just... No! The big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I got to know what you got planned for. <gasps> it's beautiful. Ooh, double overhead water cans. If it. Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> I am Wally Voris, one time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set. Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! Hiya, buddy. <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta-da! <laughs> What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh Woody Woodpecker, uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Twiggy. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch where you go, going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big time Hollywood screen test. Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> no bow to doubt it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz buzzard, resident of bodyguards by Buzz. <laughs> Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your uh, perchance, uh, 
Crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh! oh, 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 oh. Hey! Uh, who knew being a star was so dangerous? And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Buzard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private doy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Bizarre. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky, all we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me in all our pictures! Get back here, you, you little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, my God! That Woody Woodpecker, his first day in Hollywood, and just look at this wild, wild party! He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <sighs> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgors, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed. <laughs> Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. <laughs> Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh, 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 oh. They're, uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, 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 Jungle Woody to the rescue. Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate scary movies. One last Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't ah! stop us. Come on. Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah! 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 Woody Black Belt will defend my honor. I make you pay for kicking me. Brilliant, Sacco Buffo, Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star. Not oh, oh. a money way, you dish rag. Let me out of here. I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again? And never stop working? Are you nuts? Forget this star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. No, come back. My career is in your hands. Think of the fame, the adoring fans, the autograph hounds! <laughs>
and everything. Smorgasbord Acres. Camping. Free. Free camping. This is our lucky day, gang. Last one to set up makes the s'mores. <laughs> now this is relaxing. Oh, yoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I am Bolivarus. Smorgasbord Acres is my campground, and I'm so happy you came to do fun stuff with me. I could just yodel. <laughs> this calls for a celebration, ya. Yeah. If you ask me, this is more of a funny farm than a campground. Let's am scrape. <laughs> you can't leave when we're just about to start the Speedy Olympics. The Speedy Olympics? Yeah, and I challenge you, Woodpecker. No way, hey, no ball. Sheesh, let's get out of here. There's a prize. If you win, I cook your meals, clean your camp, and blow up your air mattresses every day with fresh mountain air flowing in from Sweden. Free camping and a camp butler? Oh, this could be plush. What's the big yikes? With this flaming beaner, I declare the Speed Olympics officially open. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> The first event will be the Mustache Weightlifting Contest. Whoever can lift these weights the highest, using only the power of the mustache, is the winner. Hey, I don't have a mustache. What kind of Olympics are these anyway? They're my Olympics. The Speed Olympic Committee is proud to provide you with this fake mustache at no charge. <laughs> Looks like me and my pals are gonna have to make these our Olympics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we... okay. Eat that, Woodpecker. Uh -huh. This isn't a yoinky doinky disco club. Lift the baits already. This can't be! You're the man! You're the winner! Yes, you won, Woody! Yeah. <laughs> Not yet, Woodpecker! The next event is the Swedish Meatball Leap and Eat. We dive from that tower down into the meatballs and gravy. Whoever eats them all wins! Free grub in a tub! Now you're talking, Wally! <laughs> Meatball dive. Hey, this tub's only half full. And these aren't regulation size meatballs, Buster. They're the kind of meatballs I like, Woodpecker. <laughs> hey, no fair. That's cheating. Now you won't Come on, Billy. Oh, you missed 
that one, Wally. Guess that ends the Speedy Olympics, huh? No way, Woodpecker. We have the final event, the Herring Pool. Whoever gets that flag on the other side of the lake wins. And they're gonna be pulled by Johan and Gustav, the Herring Brothers. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, go. Tilly, I'll go high. You go low. I'll get you, crazy woodpecker! Now do I win, Wally? No, there's still one more event. It's the... Uh... Second thought, I give up. You win, Woodpecker. Okay. Hey, you won! Oh, yeah. Now, this is my kind of camping. Yoinky, doinky. <laughs> 